All right, so we are wrapping up our Algebra 1 season. Don't forget, hit like, hit subscribe, hit the bell. So today we're starting some probability. That does not mean we're actually going to like start to gamble because we're not actually talk. We can't say gamble, but we can talk about selling raffle tickets. All right, so a two-way table. This is what's crazy. Uh, let's see. Seven years ago when I first had to teach this, I was like, what the heck is this? I hadn't seen it even in my stats and stuff, classes, it's actually not that difficult. As long as you listen to how to do it the first time, that's where it's going to be difficult for many people. All right. So two-way table, I'm not going to read that to you. Okay. All right. We asked 20 adults and children if they like broccoli. All right. So, now, in this problem, they actually tell you, yes, there are, uh, you know, there are 20. Now, our joint relative frequency, okay, our joint relative frequency is all this stuff right here. Okay, that's the values in each category divided by the total. Okay, I will try my best to make sure on the final that your totals are nice round numbers. Okay, I try to do that for my math modeling class. They had a, a a project they were supposed to ask no more than 10 i had people say they asked 14 they divided by 10 they st their numbers were all screwed up so all right now marginal frequencies are found by adding the uh joint relative frequencies what that means is if i wanted to find out how many people said yes I would basically have added up this 0.15 and this right here so this would have been you know 50 and this would have been 50. So like 50% 50 of them said yes, 50% of them said no. Uh, we had basically 55% of them were children and then 45% of them. Okay. Now, remember how I said, you know, yesterday's test happened and we're gonna move on. We still might want to learn from how we prepared for yesterday's test. I don't think a lot of people have grasped that yet. Okay, so now what's in green right here? These are, our, uh, I should put those in purple. These are our marginal. Purple. Thank you. All right. That's our marginals right there. All we did was add these. This is actually not very difficult. When I said, can you divide and add? And some of y'all said no. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, this should be purple. I'm trying to fix it and uh, device is not. Oh, there we go. Now it's color coded. All right. So now in a perfect world, when we add all these decimals up, they're going to add up to one. If we have to round at any point in time, we're going to get less than one or a little bit more than one. Notice I said in a perfect world. All right. Also in a perfect world, my forehead would not be this big. Okay. My hairline would have been right here where it was when I was like in my teens. Well, see, I think my big forehead is like having a one terabyte, you know, RAM memory. That way I can zing these one-liners back at y'all that y'all don't are not prepared for. 
Okay. Now, we're actually, this is a conditional. All right. So, look, I'm writing this out. Anytime, again, due to time constraints, when we see conditional, we're just going to kind of look at it and we're going to move on. Okay, uh, we're going to friend zone it because it's not really part of our main object uh, for this next time. All right. So we're not worried about the your turn, blah, blah, blah. All right. Go to example one. All right. What is our, our total right here? 125. All right. So we need to divide all of this, all of these, by 125 to get our joint relative frequencies. Who stole my calculator? Oh, here it is. All right. 125. That's our total for this one. So 15 divided by 125, yeah, 0 0.12. Now, we're saying they're decimals. We know that 0.12 is a decimal. What is that as a percent? Twelve. You just move it over. Oh. All right. So, 53 divided by 125. All right. This gives us 0. Point, now, this is like 0. 0.424. All right. So, we're just going to say 0. 0.42. All right. 4 divided by 125. All right, this is 0 0.03. Again, this is like 0 0.0, like 32. We're rounding nearest hundredth. All right, this one right here. This gives us 0 0.256. Because this 6 is 5 or greater, this would actually round up 0 0.26. Okay? All right, nine divided by one, two, five. Now, remember previously when I said in a perfect world when we don't round our totals or going to add up to one i have a feeling this is not going to be that way and considering i had some people say wait it's not one no 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 because they're ahead of me and didn't listen to our previous discussion i don't know who that would be okay no this is marginal The purple is marginal, the green is joint. There's a reason why I made the green joint. Think about it. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> he's funny. That's that's something I can relate to. All right, so five, four, yes, later this month. All right, now, because we rounded, believe it or not, this actually still ends up coming up to one, okay? As long as we rounded correctly,
joint, as I said earlier, green is joint. All right. Remember, that was the joke. Speaking of jokes, hey, snacks. Snacks. What does it always feel like winning at Christmas? That's right, because there's no L. Mm. All right, now, sh questions, hey, questions like from the final that you're going to see is like, what is the probability that an adult had one accident? Okay, well, an adult that had one accident, adult, one accident. That right there. That's really what it's going to be. I said again for the second time. A question from the final would be what is the probability that an adult had one accident? Okay. Yeah. All right. So let's look at this. Table shows this, blah, blah, blah. Now, do, are we given a total? No. Oh, no. What do we do? We use our actual calculator. All right. Y'all get 210? 19, 8 plus 11, oh my gosh. Okay, so again, the green is our joint, so I'm dividing each of these by 210. Now I'm having to round this one. If I'm putting like a little asterisk by it, I had to round. And 36. Wow. All right. So this should be 0 0.58. No, that's four eight. See, y'all made me mess up. Point sixty two. All right. And All right, so now, so now on the final, you won't actually have to make a chart. I'm going to show y'all the, when we go over the study guide, I'm going to show y'all the easy way to do that, okay? Yay! All right. So, uh, let's let's do a question right quick. All right, so on this question right here, what is the probability that the book was nonfiction and paperback? 
All right. Nonfiction paperback. No, I think you should pat her shoulder condescendingly. Oh. All right. See, this is kind of more the same. All right, let's look at this. All right, believe it or not, I'm actually stopping the lesson right here because this is not, uh, it's more, it's just more filling out the chart, stuff like that. All right, so don't forget, hit like, subscribe, hit the bell. Good stuff, good things. Roll tight.